Hi, it's Susie from Nail Care Education, and I'm going to do a crisp. No, it's not too early. We can do Christmas designs, and I've got one ready to show you. Let's get started. Okay, I've got my coat of white polish on here ready to go and cured. And I'm going to use red and white for this design. Like I say, you can use any two colors that you want. Um, you could use, uh, let's say, yellow and blue and make it an Easter design. And you'll get the idea once you see it. So I'm going to use a white and a red. I've got my gel here and my red gel. And I'm just going to have a little pad soaked with a little bit of alcohol. And you'll see why. Then I'm going to have my little dotting tool. This is the dotting tool I'm going to use. This is really simple and really quick. And again, you can try this yourself if you're playing around with nails, or you can do this if you're a nail technician at the end of somebody's appointment and just give a nice little design. The reason why I want to make these two fresh, I'm not going to nuke them until they get on both, and then I'm going to do it, and you'll see why. They have to be fresh and together, or this design won't work. So I'm going to paint one half of my nail white, and I'm going to paint one half red. Just make sure when you go down the center they're tight together like that. Do take a little bit of the red and go off like that before you dip it in because if there's any white that you've taken from that it'll now be on the brush and you don't want to contaminate the rest of your bottle. Then I'm going to take that fine tip and I'm going to drag this little tip through the red and the white and just kind of circle around you can do whatever pattern you want. This is just the one I decided to go with. And that's it. Quite simple. Okay, so then you do want to give this a flash cure. If you don't cure this for five or 10 seconds, by the time you get back to it, if you go do the other fingers, it will have run so much the design will be kind of washed away. And it'll run into the cuticles and you don't want gel or polish seeping into your cuticles. Having said this, you can do this with polish or gel. So all I've done is flash cured that so I can go on to do the other designs. Then I will full cure the whole set in the LED for 30 to 60 seconds. And if you're using a UV lab, up to three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other fingers. I'll stay consistent and put white on this side. You could switch it up, I guess. You could do whatever you want. Swipe on your pad. Okay, take your dotting tool. You want to make sure you're dragging through both colors. That's what gives the image on both sides. And I'll flash gear that again. And like I say, just five or ten seconds. Okay. Now I'm going to continue and do the other fingers. Get it on the skin, get it off. Don't want to cure that into the skin. We're almost there, you can see this design does not take long. end like this has got a bigger ball in the end of course I just chose the fine-tuned one I don't think I can hold the pinky steady enough it's hard to do your own hand sometimes at funny angle I'm trying to do it for the camera so you can see this camera here so it can see but so most of the time when I'm doing it myself I'm doing it like this so I'm gonna do that for the pinky though because it's gonna be a little harder to hold out like that
There we go. I'm gonna flash Kira. That's a pretty cool, effective design. I've never actually done it where I've had a whole hand. I was just doing one to check it out, but it's kind of cool, a whole hand like that. Sometimes when you do a busy design, it looks good on one finger, and when you get it on all of them, it can be too much. But this one actually works really well together. I actually really like that. Just because we were trying to do the one swipe, sometimes I miss a bit of the sides, so you can go back with the red. I tend to miss it, because it, you don't want to get on the cuticles, right? So I'm just going to go back and add just a little bit of red on the little side there. So I'm pulling back my skin with my finger there, and I'm going to try to get underneath so I get the whole side there. I'm just gonna get rid of any. See, I just covered that quite nicely. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go get, oh, this one's not too bad. This one I missed a big gap. And this one I missed. harder when you're doing your own hand, but when you've got a client, you've got two fingers, you can pull the skin right back and you get right onto both sides. So now I'm gonna nuke that for the full cure minute. Looks cool. So just remember, you can do this with polish, but because you have to put a fair amount of polish on there to drag each color through each other, it's kind of thick and it would take a while to dry. And people nowadays just don't have time for waiting things to dry. That's why gel polish was invented. So doing it with gel polish allows you to cure it right away and then they can split right after the appointment. So that's a great, easy design to do. That's what's nice about it, it's simple. That's great, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.